Substance abuse and addiction is a huge problem nationwide, and Colorado has not been spared. The Colorado Health Access Survey found roughly 12% of adults in our state reported a recent substance abuse disorder. That's a full 4% above the national average. A beating addiction is an incredible achievement, especially during a pandemic. Today, dozens of Coloradans celebrating doing just that. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez caught up with some of the Stout Street Foundation's newest graduates. <laughs> I didn't think I deserved to live a good life, and I didn't think it mattered. Without you guys, I would not have made it through that. I'd have been dead 100%. 44 people who worked hard to push the demons out of their lives walked down the aisle and onto the stage at the Stout Street Foundation's graduation ceremony today. Parker H. Each of them overcoming addictions that had taken over their lives. I started uh, drinking heavily in high school. Daniel R. says he was only 19 when he robbed a Target. I was homeless um, and, you know, I didn't have anywhere to go. I'd burned all the bridges in my life. I was in and out of detoxes a lot. Megan Marshall's addiction. Heroin and meth. And then at the end, benzos as well. I didn't care if I lived or died. Brian Gonzalez says he spent years trying to turn his life around. He'd been trafficking in guns and drugs. Stout Street was the answer. It's, it's an amazing program. Christopher Conway was sentenced to Stout Street back in 1998. He'd had a couple of drug charges. He jokes that he's gone from resident to president. You have all the people that you need. Conway says Stout's peer-based therapy helps clients identify traumas and reckon with emotional imbalances, each vulnerable in front of 120 others. When they finally understand that they have this foundation and they can rely on themselves, the, the magic just, it, it, it's great. It, it gleams, it flows. I present to you Stout Street Foundation Class of 2021. The grads now ready to move on, many to help others as they've been helped. Gonzalez going into psychology. I have the experience of being at the lowest part of life. So what other way can I give back to stay on top is by helping the ones that are where I was. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. That's an inspiration there. A reminder today, take care in the mountains. While the snow may be gradually melting, avalanches actually can still happen. The Clear Creek Sheriff's Office says today around 9 a.m. there was an avalanche on Torres Peak. That's one of Colorado's most popular 14ers to hike. Now in all, this avalanche swept four hikers into a rock field. Crews with choppers, you see here, they went in to rescue the hikers. All four had minor injuries and they were evacuated off of the mountain. And tomorrow we expect to find out the sentence of two snowboarders who caused an avalanche at the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnels. Tyler DeWitt and Evan Hannibal set off a slide in March last.